So today we're doing 3D sketches. Uh, next or tomorrow we'll do tabular parts. So parts that are similar but different sizes. Maybe have a feature on one that's not on another, like a hole on one, or that's not on the other, or different sizes, or where a hole moves, or something like that. Uh, so we'll do that tomorrow, um, and then next weekend we'll get into doing the the simulation and then a very brief intro to different simulation parts of SolidWorks. Um, but today is 3D sketches. So we did something like this in week one, remember? Was it week one or was it last time? Or the, the session? When we did the sweeps? That was the last session, right? In the intermediate? We've done something like this before, right? So how many sketches would that have taken to do? And how many different sweeps would that have been before? See, even if you're just going to do half and mirror it, how many different sketches would that have been? Nine. Three. It would have been three, probably. If you're doing the whole thing, it would be a few more. But one, one to get this line, one to oh, get okay. that line, and one to get that. And then you can mirror it over. Now with 3D sketches, we can do that with, and then the one for the profile, of course. So four. Um, but now that's two sketches. We have one sketch that's the whole path, and one sketch that's the profile. That's all we do. Uh, and then also, so that's just using lines and lining them up with the, the planes. We can also use this line and have it kind of go through through space. And so something kind of like that. What would that be good for? Why would you do something like that? I don't either. <laughs> but why would you want to have a something that can kind of just flow through space? So you can move it around stuff. Yeah. But so, like, what kind of stuff would that would that be? A conduit. Yeah. Conduit, pipe, flexible tubing, um, something like that. So hard tubing, hard pipe. We do it like this, probably line it up with the axis, right. maybe go there or at a different angle, which we'll do also. But. With using just a spline, we can get it to kind of weave in and out around things. Uh, so we'll actually do an exercise today where we do something like that. We've got a little messed up thing that you've got to, to route a, a cable through. <coughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and start with this one. So that's the sketch for it. We're going to come out, up, over, forward. And so. Jessica, which, did you just close the rabbit? What? Yeah, did you just close it? Okay. I just, want, I, I just want to make sure that I didn't lock your computer. Alright, so here's the sketch that we're going to be working with. So we'll go to SolidWorks. Do a new part. And I'm gonna just gonna, gonna sketch. And I'm gonna hit the fly out and tell it 3D sketch. So now I'm gonna sketch, but I don't have a grid. Because I'm not refined, I'm not constrained to any plane. And so there's no there's nothing for me to, to see right now. So I'm just gonna go to line. Oh. See that? So you kind of it's showing me two axes in red and one in black. And it's telling me on my cursor that right now I'm on the XY plane. If I hit tab, it'll switch. See that? Can you tab I'm switching? So that's how I'm going to control which plane I'm drawing on for the direction. So I'm going to start here, come out on the Z. Can I go up right there? Yeah. What would happen if I click there? Is that going up? No, it's actually going at an angle on that plane, right? And you can see the little yellow dotted line. It's showing me kind of what plane I'm on. 
So I want to hit tab. Now it's going up. Now I can come out. Tab again. There's my basic space. And it looks great. Do you constrain it? Now I need to constrain it, right? So maybe take those two lines, make them equal. Take those two, make them equal. Those two, equal. And then that still can move a lot. So I'll take those two and make them collinear. So they line up. Now these two lines are in line with each other. Now that shape is going to be roughly the shape I want it to be. So we're just like with 2D sketches, you want to get all your constraints lined up right before you used to go on to the next step. Because here, now you're on different planes and everything's going to get, if you don't have it constrained, it's going to go, it's going to blow up. Um, so now I'll go ahead and start dimensioning. I wanted it to be 3 by 4 by 2.5 by 3. Let's see how I remember all those. 3 by 4. Now I've got all those dimensions in and it's fully constrained. So now, fill it. And when I do the fillet, I want to make sure that I keep the constrained corners. If I, if I uncheck that, when I add the fillet, it'll erase the corner and it'll erase my dimensions and everything. So you want to keep that one turned on. Uh, type in the, the radius of the fillet here. Fill it. Make it 0.5. And then we're going to go that line to that line. Say yes. There to there. Yeah. There to there. Yeah. Just because I had equal on those other ones. Uh, and so I was making sure I was changing the length of the line. And if I had only filled it this side and not this one, it'd, it'd adjust it. But since I'm going to fill this one anyways, it's going to come back being equal. So there's all my fillets. They're OK. You can see it, it left all my corners for my dimensions and everything. So there's that 3D sketch. What do I need now? Profile. My profile. Where should it be? At the end of one of those, right? Mm -hmm. So your profile needs to needs to just like with the regular sweep, it needs to be able to to, to pierce um, or be coincident. So it either has to have a corner that's coincident with part of our path, or it needs to pierce the path. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and draw on that front plane. So I already got that origin, so I can do it there. Or if I did off to the side, if I pick there, I pick there, I can tell it to be coincident. If I pick that line, at that point, I can tell it to pierce. So pierce, it will, a line will go through a point if they're perpendicular planes. So I can do it either way. Okay, now I can just sweep it. Sweep, I already think that's my first one. You know, my path, the path, and okay. So 
there's that heater coil or whatever it is. Okay. Any questions? Okay. So it's your turn. Go ahead. <clears throat>